Torah portion 35. Naso, when you elevate. Bamitba 4 verse 21 to 7 verse 89. Bamitba chapter 4. When you elevate the heads of the sons of Gershon, note all between 30 and 50 years, everyone, who will serve and bear the burdens of the dwelling place and its curtains, and the tent and all its coverings, also the screens and courtyard door with the cords that make it stand. Let them perform their duties under Itamar's hand. The sons of Merari were also to be noted, from thirty to fifty years old, to bear the boards, columns and sockets, pegs and cords, Moshe was told. Also over them would Itamar his hand hold. The same was done for Kiat, all the holy items they did get. Over them Aharon's son Elazar was set. Eight thousand five hundred and eighty was the sum of those who served from thirty to fifty, all of Levi's sons. Bamidbar Chapter 5 All with infectious skin, even if only the head. All with the flow, and whoever had touched the dead. Outside camp should shift, for Adonai is in their midst. When a guilt offering is required, but the relative no longer is, the extra fifth plus a ram goes for Adonai to the priest. When a wife commits adultery without a witness, she comes with her husband, who now feels jealous. The priest takes off her head cover, with a grain offering in her hand, the bitter water with pain will uncover. If innocent, no curse on her will stand. Bamidbar Chapter 6 When a Nazarite vow you desire, a few restrictions are required regarding diet, hair, and the dead, because set-apartness is on the head. Touching the dead even by accident ends the separation. Shave on day seven, and two doves and a lamb on day eight is your obligation. When the time of the vow is complete, at the door of the tent the priest you meet, with three animals clean, also the fitting drink and grain. Your hair goes in the fire, and what is waved for the priest will remain. One can bring whatever else you can provide, and once again he or she can drink wine. This is what Moshe should tell Aaron, how to bless Israel through his sons. Adonai will bless and guard. Adonai will let his face shine and show favor. Adonai will lift his face and give shalom. And so, like a seal, he puts his name on. Bamidbar Chapter 7 The leaders of the tribes brought twelve bulls and six wagons freely. After Moshe anointed the Mishkan, he received it for Levi. Two wagons and four cattle went to the sons of Gershon. Four wagons and eight cattle for Merari and son. Kiat bore theirs on their shoulders, so they got none. For twelve days the altar received dedication, according to the order of their camp formation. On a dish and a bowl of silver was fine flour mixed with oil together weighing two hundred shekels, we are told, and incense filled up a ten-shekel spoon of gold, a bull, a ram, and lamb for an olah, a male goat was for a chata. Two cattle and five male goats they did bring, together with five rams and five male lambs for the shelamim. Multiply all by twelve to know the total for this special occasion. To speak with Adonai, Moshe entered the tent, hearing his voice above the lid of atonement.